Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about relationship queries. The topics that we will cover up in this video, child to parent relationship query with standard object, child to parent relationship query with custom object, parent to child relationship query with standard object, parent to child relationship query with custom object and different point of cautions while performing these queries. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. There are two types of relationship queries, child to parent relationship query and parent to child relationship query. For the child to parent relationship query, we use the relationship field to access fields from parent object. And for the parent to child relationship query, we use sub query for querying records from the child object. Let's talk about child to parent relationship query. To get the fields of the parent object from the child object, we need to use the parent object name, which is lookup or master detail field existing in the child object. Use the dot notation with the relationship field to access the field of the parent object. For example, we know the contact object is related to account object. Hence, we can use the following query. Select ID, last name, account dot name, account dot type from contact. In the case of custom objects, we need to use the relationship field name and use dot notation for the fields of the parent object. Just make sure to use underscore underscore r instead of underscore underscore c for the relationship field name while accessing the custom parent objects field. If we will not use underscore underscore r instead of underscore underscore c, then we won't be able to fetch the fields instead. It will just show the parent record ID. For example, we have a classroom custom object and a student custom object having a master detail field class. Then the so-called query will look like this. Select ID, student name, class underscore underscore R dot name from student underscore underscore C. Now let's talk about parent to child relationship queries. To get the data of the child object from the parent object using a subquery from the relationship field of the child object, we can know the child relationship name. This child relationship name can be used in the subquery to fetch the details from the child object. For example, we know that contact is the child object of the account object and the child relationship name is contacts. Hence, following so-called query can be used. Select name, type and then we are using a subquery over there under this parenthesis. Select last name from contacts and then in the main query which will be from account. In case of the custom object, we need to use underscore underscore r with the child relationship name. For example, we have a classroom custom object and a student custom object having an master detail field class. Here the child relationship name is students. Hence the so-called query will look like this. So if you will see the sub query here, we are mentioning the child relationship name which is students and then we are using underscore underscore r with it. Also make sure that records fetched from the child object in case of parent to child relationship queries will return multiple child records for a single parent record. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys and now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of relationship queries. Now first of all, let's talk about child to parent relationship query. So suppose if we are performing a query for standard objects like account and contact where we know contact is on the child side. So if we are writing down a query on the child object, how we can fetch values from the parent object. So let me write down a query over here. So you can see I have written field names for the contact object over here. Now, if I will execute it, definitely I'm going to get these results. Now, if I want to know the account which is related to this specific contact or the accounts which are related to these contacts. So to do so, here you can take help of the lookup field which is available on the contact. Let me show you that. So here you can see this is the field. So the field name is account. So we will mention the name of this lookup field on contact object dot any field on the account object. So to show you that. After the comma, I will mention the lookup field name, which is account, then dot, and then I can mention any name from the account object, any field name from the account object. For example, name field. Let me also show type field and let me execute this query. So here you can see it is showing me the account name and account type for these contacts. 
Now, if you are running this from Apex, let me show you and run this from Apex. So you can use the query and definitely you can fetch it in the list of contact. Let me change the line so that it can be readable for you. And now you can definitely iterate over these contacts. So that's how you can print it. Now the thing is how we can print these fields which are coming from the parent. So it's as easy as you are writing it over here. For example, if I want to print account name, I will mention here con.account.name. The same goes for account type. And let me add a separator over here. And now when I will execute this, you can see I'm iterating over each contact and I'm printing those fields, not only from the contact object, but also from the parent object. So that's how you will perform a child to parent query, but you have to be careful when you are doing it on a custom object. So let me show you that. So in my org, I am having two custom objects as student and classroom. So if I show you student object, so here you can see student is on the child side of the master detail relationship between classroom and student. So I'm going to perform query on student and then I will fetch information from the classroom. So let me do that. So here is a query on the student object. Now, if I'm executing it, you can get it, you are getting these results. Now, how to get information from the parent. So here you can see the master detail field name is class, but you will not mention it like that. The API name you have to mention. So we'll mention the API name, but you have to be careful that you are performing a relationship query. So instead of using underscore underscore C, you have to use underscore underscore R over here. Now, if I will use underscore underscore C only, then definitely I will get the record ID of that parent record. So I will replace underscore underscore C with underscore underscore R and then I can use any field from that op. So there is a name field on the classroom object. So I will use class underscore underscore R dot name. Now name is a standard field over there. So I'm just using name. If it is a custom field, I will use name underscore underscore C. So let me execute this and here you go. So that's how I'm going to perform a child to parent relationship query on a custom object. Definitely I can copy this and use it in Apex as well. So here you can see I have used the same query over here. So it is a list of students. I'm fetching it. Then I'm iterating over these students and in the same manner, I'm accessing individual field from the student object and the parent of student. Let me execute this and here you can see individual information is printed over there. Now let's perform a parent to child relationship query. So for child to parent, we have seen from contact to account. So for parent to child, we will see from account to contact. So let me write down a simple query on the parent. Now, when we are performing from parent to child, then we will use a sub query or inner query over here. So all the child fields that we want to fetch will be fetched with an inner query. So we will just add a comma over here, a pair of parentheses. And within this pair of parentheses, I will write down one more query for the child. Select, let's suppose last name and first name from contact, first name comma last name from. Now, here we will not mention the child object name, we will use child relationship name instead of that. So let me show you that. So the lookup field that is there on the child object, just click on that lookup field. It can be a master detail field as well. And there you will find the name, the child relationship name. So we'll use this child relationship name over here in the subquery. So it will be from contacts. So you can see select ID name and type. These three fields are from parent. Then we added a subquery over here where we mentioned the fields from the child. And finally, the subquery will be closed. And then we will mention the name of the parent object. Let me execute this. Here you will get all the accounts and also all the contacts that are part of a single account. Now, when you are querying from parent to child, make sure that one parent can have multiple childs. That's why all the childs will be as in form of a list. So it will be a list of records for individual parent record. So if I'm performing the same query, in Apex. So let me just copy this and use it in Apex. So let me make the changes over here. So now you can see I have written the query over here. I am fetching it in the list of accounts and I'm iterating over the list of accounts and printing individual field values of the parent. Now we, how we will access the child one. So because the child can have multiple records for a single account record, here we will fetch it in a list of contact. So here I will use list of contact and then ACC dot and then I will mention the child relationship name over here. So SCC dot contacts. So all the records of contacts will come here, which is for that specific account record. And then we can iterate over it. So what I'm doing is I'm using this separator in between. I will print contacts and then I will use a big separator to separate all the account records. Here I will have an inner loop, which will iterate for the contact records. 
and to make it meaningful let me have this small separator inside inner loop and this big separator inside outer loop so this is the whole code now let me execute this so whenever it is having more than one contact you can see it is printing them separately you can make it more interesting or more readable by adding this separator before this inner loop as well and now if i will execute this this is an account and its contact then another account its contact another account its contacts so this big separator will let us know about that now let's check it out with the help of a custom object so for child to parent we were using student to classroom for parent to child we will use classroom to student let me write down the query for the parent so here you go select id name from classroom execute now i will have a sub query over here for the student's information so select id student name and age again as i told you you have to use the child relationship name so let me fetch the child relationship name so let's go on the student here you will find this master detail field and here you will find the child relationship name which is students but make sure because this is custom object here you will not only write students you will write students underscore underscore r now let me execute similarly you can copy this paste it in your apex and you can use the same query in apex and print the values just like we did for the case of account and contact that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care